Dan, thanks for joining us. Break it down for us. What is behind the dramatic slowdown, not just for this quarter, but also behind the lower than expected guidance? Yeah, well, Julie, if you step back and think about you know, what we've been saying ever since the pandemic took our already strong and high growth company and accelerated it dramatically to higher growth rates, we knew that that would come down at some point. And beginning of this year, we thought it would come down sort of more evenly across the year. Our first half ended up being much stronger. The last time we spoke was uh, after Q2. And we said, yeah, we were a little bit surprised uh, that it was still uh, so strong in terms of the growth. Um, but it hit us much harder in Q3, uh, so much so that we, we actually missed our billings guide, which we've never had any you know, miss on any of our metrics. And that's what I think you see the, uh, you know, the strong market reaction. We think it's an overly strong reaction, uh, but we're bound to be in that position. Yeah, analysts are saying that this is a thesis changing print. I'm wondering if, if this quarter's results and the guidance indicate that what you saw in the past, say, six quarters was really just a pull forward. And if you see other factors at play, such as uncertainty um, around interest rates, et cetera, that is going to be keeping your customers from wanting to invest in, in more different services. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to be able to personally tell you, I think some of the macro impacts that are, of course, out there and everyone is feeling were sort of a, a primary driver. I don't think that's the case. I think this is DocuSign execution. Uh, we, we did know that we would see, you know, that come, come down from the big uh, pandemic push. And we did uh, pr prefer to believe we could land it a little more evenly than we did with having such a strong uh, H1 and then, you know, a much weaker uh, H2. Uh, but what we've seen is the demand for our products is still strong. Uh, we don't have customers leaving us. Uh, we have high net retention rates. We have a huge TAM. Uh, we see incredible customer success in what we do. Uh, the piece that DocuSign missed is we got to a place over the last year, year and a half, where we were sort of fulfilling demand. And what we'd always done in the past is generated demand out there driving customer success, finding new use cases. Uh, and as a field, as a go-to-market organization, we just pulled back from that, and we shouldn't have. Uh, and that's sort of my responsibility to quickly get back on track, uh, as we will, and you'll see us uh, return to the strong growth we had pre-pandemic. Yeah, Dan, I want to go a layer deeper into exactly what you just said, because first of all, I'm wondering, uh, can you give some color on your customers buying patterns and uh, <clears throat> tempering? And then this move that you've made to take the uh, sales and marketing organization under the COO and more intentionally go to generate demand. How long is that going to take, you think, to, uh, to show a change in the results and um, how are you going to measure how well that's happening? Yeah. So, John, if you think about what, you know, what Julie just said before, I think was sort of spot on. If you had that sort of pulling forward of demand uh, and that sort of exacerbated the change when we said, hey, we think we've now satiated that demand and people said, we, we've bought a lot of DocuSign and that's fantastic and we're going to continue to use it and grow. Now we need to go back out and generate uh, the new use cases and have people sort of see that high ROI across broader aspects. Uh, of their company. That's really what the sort of the missing piece was up for us was not getting back to that action. Now, how long it takes, um, I don't think it takes a long time because it's not a new model we're trying to create. We're just going back to the old mode that we did for years uh, where we delivered very consistent high growth. I think that's the same model you'll see from DocSign in the future. Uh, we sort of said we think this is an H1, H2 story. And so, you know, for H2, uh, we had lower billings in Q3, you know, and we guided to lower than our initial uh, you know, goals we had previously for Q4. Uh, and that's the time frame we think we'll be able to sort of write uh, that activity uh, and be back to where we, uh, we were in the prior uh, years.